when you have kids with special needs because you feel alone. I feel like we're kind of in a bubble, but we kind of get out of that bubble. It is okay to be sad. It's okay to wonder what if. It doesn't mean you don't love your child. But I would say that it's important to find resources, get connected. That's why DDVP is here. Lots of resources to help partner with families to help their child achieve a very satisfying life. The Division of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics at Cincinnati Children's partners with families to support, treat, and see children for who they are, unique individuals. We, you know, we value kids with disabilities and we recognize they bring a diversity to the world that we actually enjoy. See me for me. So yes, my daughter has Down syndrome, but she's not Down syndrome. Right? She's a whole person, a whole unique individual. Every kid with autism, every kid with a developmental disability has a different, a different path. They're different kids. They aren't all the same. See for me. So each child's plan is tailored or individualized to their needs and their strengths and their family of what's, what the priorities are and kind of how to craft that forward. We have such collaboration between our medical providers, our psychologists, our speech pathologists, our occupational and physical therapists, even our dietitians, nurses. And instead of family feeling like they have to do all the things all the time, we can help them say, what's the next thing that you need to do? You know, here we are prescribing these therapies, like it's no big deal, but thinking about the actual details of taking time off work, having other children and siblings and making sure that their needs are, are met and that they feel important while, you know, keeping up with, with life. It's a lot, so having someone tell me, it's okay, like you can take, <laughs> take a few months off. <laughs> you seem like you're a little busy, and that's really nice. It takes a village to raise a child, and families with special needs may need more support. With Cincinnati Children's Community Outreach, Advocacy and Education Programs, and Parenting Networking, Families can build their tribe in a community that meets everyone's needs. Parents are there for each other. If there's someone who shares your diagnosis and the child is a little bit older, lean on them. When it's time for older patients to spread their wings, our transition clinic and social workers are helpful, whether patients leave the nest or not. I kind of do want to live by myself someday, but that might be kind of hard. What would be hard about it? I don't know. Hey, hey, Mom, pre prepared you for that? Nope. <laughs> I think we have. Yeah. My ultimate hope for them is happiness, internal and external, period. This isn't just about the label or the disability. We are a family and we, our child is our child and we should remember to enjoy the moments as they happen. And I think that's really key for, for every parent and every family. Mm -hmm.